This is Matt Ward at the Riverwoods Eye Center. I want to show you today how I prepare and load Demec tissue in the modified Jones tube for Demec that's been pre-stripped by the eye bank. Here I am cinching a silicone tube uh, over the tip of a 5cc syringe and then cutting it uh, to fit the Jones tube, which then I slide snugly into the silicone sleeve. I really like the silicone to couple it to the syringe. I then draw up about three to four cc's of BSS and uh, try to eliminate all the air bubbles. And I flush it thoroughly several times to just eliminate every last air bubble, which can be problematic if uh, air goes into the eye at the same time as the, the donor tissue. Next, I take the donor tissue and place it on Barren vacuum punch. I have all of my grafts pre punched at 8 millimeters by the eye bank and they remove the peripheral skirt, so I know all I have here is the 8 millimeter donor. My assistant engages the vacuum, which is helpful, I think, to have some counter traction when lifting the graft up. I remove any optisol that's remaining from the surface of the graft and just stain it around the edges just so I can see the edge um, and pick up the edge. Remove some of the excess tripan there. Then I use curved tire from Moria, very delicate tip, and try to just grab in one spot and pick it straight up toward the hinge which I know is superior here because of the notch that's been cut by the eye bank. So I pull up and I just take my time when I get to the hinge, which is the only area of the graft that has not been stripped, and gently pull it up. And then I, I fill the well there, the, the corneal scleral rim with tripan, and, and then dunk the graft and soak it for about 20 to 30 seconds. I like to then transfer it to a glass dish just so I don't drop any uvea or any other debris that could potentially incite inflammation or rejection. I take very carefully with the tip of the Jones tube, orient the graph so it's parallel to the tip of the tube and then just with a gentle sucking motion, just pull back on the plunger and the graft slides right back very nicely. You have very exquisite control here. Occasionally in early cases, I've seen the graft pulled all the way into the syringe. If that happens, you can just pull the plunger. What I typically would do is pull the plunger all the way off and then dump the graft back into the glass dish to try again rather than forcing it through the tip of the syringe. This is Matt Ward with the Riverwoods Eye Center. I've been showing you how I prepare and load Demec tissue that has been pre-stripped by the eye bank into a modified Jones tube for Demec. Thank you very much.